And now it's time for a look back at the week. I'm joined by Peter Kennedy from the ABC and Peter Kerr from the Fin Review. Hi. Hi, welcome to you both. Um, Peter, Julie Gillard has got this big deal done. What are her chances at the next federal poll? Well, I think they've improved, Eliza, because I think uh, in the government there's a collective sigh of relief mm. and that uh, this issue, which has been tearing a hole in the government uh, for weeks now and, of course, led to last week's uh, crisis, uh, that it's uh, not completely off the agenda but it's closer to being resolved. Mm. And I think uh, as far as the Labor Party in Western Australia is concerned, I think there's a lot of relief here too. Absolutely. And do you think now that we've got this deal done that we might see broader issues coming up about the fact that you know, she's a woman, but also that she's an atheist? Yeah, I, look, that will re-emerge, I'm sure. Uh, it's interesting that she's not only uh, living in sin uh, and an atheist, but she's got no kids either. Yeah. Um, I find that almost a bit of a double standard that's sometimes applied to women in politics. No one seemed to complain about Bob Hawke uh, when he left his family, uh, when he declared himself an agnostic, and mm. uh, you know, and had some other personal issues, perhaps. But um, yeah, so I find I find that sort of criticism of Julia very hard to take, actually. Mm. Well, I think she's also had uh, you know put it out there though that she's got a lot of other Australian traits, like she likes the Western Bulldogs, mm. and she you know, and, and and she's very close to her family. So, what do you think? Uh, an earlier poll now that she's got this deal done? I think uh, there's every prospect of a, an earlier poll. Uh, possibly uh, the uh, last Saturday in August. I think the government would be looking very closely at it. They'd have to make a decision by uh, mid-July, which is just two weeks away. Mm. So uh, if they think it's, uh, the signs are good, then they'll go for it from uh, mid-July. If the, they've got some problems, say betting down the new tax, uh, they'll, they'll hold off. Peter, do you think so too? Yeah, I think uh, you know, maybe she'll make a, a trip to the states, uh, like the mining states like Queensland and, uh, and WA, just to show that she's at least listening and, and not sort of... Uh, being arrogant after the, the mining tax mm. deal, but yeah, it'll be soon, I would imagine. And I wouldn't be surprised if she was in the West uh, perhaps this time next week. Right, okay, well, we'll watch and see. Look, on something a little bit lighter, but something close to all of our hearts cricket. Mm. Uh, John Howard hasn't been able to get his spot on the ICC, um, Peter, and does it look like a bit of sour grapes from him? Well, possibly. What it really looks like is the ICC have actually had. Uh, a look at the, the footage of him bowling to the troops in, uh, <laughs> in Iraq or Afghanistan, wherever it was, and, and said, I can imagine the board meeting, dude, he can't bowl. <laughs> uh, so, but he, he wears the tracksuit when he watches the game. Yeah, look, oh, well, he also wears uh, a Socceroos tracksuit when he watches the game. And I, I wonder what's left for him, you know, to take over Seth Blatter's role. <laughs> it kind of tragically reminds me a bit of Gareth uh, Evans' sort of search for a role after politics. Mm. You know, he wanted the UN uh, leadership and... Everyone was like, oh, that's a bit, uh, you know, we can't have a guy with a beard running the, running the organisation. So, um, it, just, it just shows the risk, I guess, of putting your hand up. And uh, John Howard is a very successful politician, put his hand up for uh, public office effectively one more time, had the backing of Australia and New Zealand mm. uh, and, uh, and got knocked off. It shows the, the politics of cricket, how highly politicised it's become. And also, Eliza, I think somewhat offensive that uh, if uh, Mugabe from Zimbabwe mm. can perhaps uh, veto John Howard, I think that's uh, something for everybody to think about. Yeah, that's very true. OK, PK and PK, thanks for your time. <laughs> thanks, Eliza. OK, thanks.